and once you type in the different values the spreadsheet will automatically calculate everything else it's going to automatically calculate your current drawdown so in this case I've placed one trade already this is 0.1 lot which is a mini lot and so it automatically calculates the drawdown and just by placing a lot I've already drawn down a dollar fifty because the spread is a dollar fifty or 1.5 pips so without the market moving anywhere I'm already at a dollar fifty uh, loss in my account when you open up the trade and so now I'm saying okay I'm going to move two pips from my initial placement that's what the relative uh, DD grid says and that's the advantage of working it out in a spreadsheet so that this way you're not guessing how much would the market have to move back for me to profit or for me to break even I have a spreadsheet that objectively calculates all this stuff for me these rows here just show the different profit amounts at the different retracement levels this is a really cool tool in order to simulate what if scenarios and that's what it was designed to do and it was actually also done to assist me in setting up my EA because I have an EA that actually bases uh, that's based on cost averaging but I had a hard time having to figure out in my head how to copy the numbers what what kind of numbers would I use what kind of lot sizes would I use um, how often would I open the trade where I would open where I would change each of the values so I went ahead and created a spreadsheet that does all this for me but then it was still time consuming because I would have to now copy each of these values I'd have to figure out where where I changed everything and then I would have to put it up here so this is what what this these uh, columns and rows are for here the scenario one inputs it's to help consolidate the grid and make it so that it's easier for you to read so in other words within five pips I'm gonna use a lot size of one as the grid expands to ten pips I would still use a lot size of one at two once I get beyond ten pips to fifteen and twenty pips I'm gonna increase the lot size to two and you can see the individual trades are here this is where the individual trades would be placed now on a chart let's switch back to the chart here you can see where all the different uh, trades are placed here and then all this is now is on the chart you can see where all the individual you can see where the first trade is placed and then you can see where all the individual trades are placed here on the chart so every two pips we placed a new trade and that's really all it is and this also proves another important point that all price is is just that it's just numbers it's just a price and the next price that comes in the next tick is either going to be less than equal or greater than the previous price we're going to show you in the next video how to use uh, the martingale calculator but before I even get to that I want to go ahead and show you an example of this in action with an actual EA so there's two things to look out for in the future or if you want to contact me I actually have already designed the spreadsheet that has the macro this free one that I'm giving away does not have the macro um, but it's just designed so that you can run different scenarios and see um, what what the cost averaging strategy uh, how cost averaging can help you how position sizing that's just another way of saying position sizing cost averaging it's all basically the same when it comes down to trading different size lots or same size lots but setting it up in a grid formation so that you no longer have to trade with stops or if you simply want to increase your profit potential rather than just placing one trade you place multiple trades and take advantage of the fact that the market is going to do the same thing over and over again